Hey there guys, uh, so we got the banner for Starlight Elena, and I figured I'd do some polls. Um, so let's go and see what we get. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to start off with the free weekly, which, you know, could possibly give me Elena right away. Make this nice and easy. I also want Lauren, who got um, her Neovisions. I have three copies of Lauren, so... I'd like a minimum of two more. Four more would be great as well. Um, okay. Shiva Laswell. Uh, let's see. Oh, an upgrade. Oh, not a, not a double upgrade, though. Uh, and Folka. I'm going to keep track of all these that I pull. Uh, okay, so let's see what that is for my list. Folka is number five. Laswell is number three, so that's no STMRs, but whatever, double rainbow. I think only one is guaranteed. Okay, um, I've also got a five-star ticket. Um, this is from the MOG event, from Axstar's MOG event. This is the 80k ticket. I decided to wait and, to, and use it today for that, you know, tiny chance of Elena. I was like, it's not going to be Elena. Yet. Uh, we've got a red. Oh, actually, isn't that his shift form for me? Red. Oh, uh, and that's number five. Or. Actually, oh, I gotta update my list. I didn't. Red 13. Yeah, I didn't make my list really updated for Neovisions. I'm not sure how many that is because I fused them all into shards, so I don't have. I don't keep track. That might be his EX plus one for me. I've already got his Neo Visions. Anyway, um, so we've got the Elena Summon. I usually don't do the half the half pull, but let's go ahead and do a half pull real quick. Oh. I haven't actually seen her LB yet. Wow, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a cool. That was a cool LB. All right. Yeah, I usually I usually don't do these these half dailies. Um, they're, in my opinion, not the greatest value. But uh, you know, this is a big pull video probably, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. But yeah, it was a waste as usual. All right. Um, fair warning. I'm going to be using tickets on this banner. A lot of tickets so for those of you that don't like ticket pulls this might not be for you let's go ahead and use the guaranteed rainbow ticket because I kind of want a Lauren I don't even know if these are on banner or not but uh we just did it didn't upgrade uh pain the jokes I can make I don't even care how many that is, but I guess I'll check just for the consistency's sake. Paint is number two. That is for seven star, which is completely worthless. All right, let's try some thirty percent tickets. Ah, uh, blue. Starting off as blue, it might go upgrade, but it didn't. We've got a domino. All right, last ticket, last special ticket. 30%. This is from last month's Dark Visions, where they where they came from. Uh, well, could upgrade. Oh, well, it did. It could upgrade again. It didn't. Oh, sweet Luca. Um, that's your seven star. That's my second copy. I know that. Also, her TMR is great. That's the second copy of her TMR. Um. She's overdue for enhancements, and, uh, you know, enhancements are kind of like missing in action on Global, so maybe she'll be good one day. Currently, she's not. I mean, she's not, like, bad, but she's, like, you know, whatever at this point. All right, here come the boring tickets. Um, yeah, if you don't like tickets, you know, I, I forgive you for, for tuning out here. But I'll be doing a bunch of tickets. I've got 200 to go through. I don't know how deep I'm going to go, but because I want more copies of Lauren as well. I'm going to be going for a while. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm at three copies of Lauren. Her Neovisions is really good, so I need one more for the STMR, and then another one for the Neovisions plus zero, which gives me, um, you know, her base form. 
So that's two copies of Lauren minimum I really want before I stop. And then two more for the EX plus one would be even better. But I also want Starlight Elena. Uh, she's from the early data we've seen. She's not as like super crazy damage as a lot of us were kind of expecting. Her damage seems pretty good and all, but I think a lot of people were expecting her to just be like really higher than all the other units, and it doesn't seem to be the case from the early numbers. You know, maybe more information will come out or better build, better rotations or something, but it seems like she'll be doing more damage than um, like last week's units, like, you know, last one in Axtar, she'll pro probably do more than them. But uh, not much. And Neo Vision's Lauren with a powerful build might even out damage Elena. Maybe. I don't know. This is. People haven't really crunched the numbers yet. I'm going to mix in some gold tickets while I'm pulling as well. Because they're pretty irrelevant, gold or blue. They have the same chance as Neo Vision's, and there's no more gold units that matter anymore. So. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter which one we do. And I'm barely even looking at what units I pull because I don't even care. If it's if it's not a rainbow or above, it's like whatever. Big whatever. And here's a rainbow. Alright. Let's go for that Lauren. Okay, first copy of Umbral Dark Fina. Let me write this down. If I can make Umbral Dark Fina. If I can keep track of this a little bit easier later. Uh, that's fine. You know, she's she's still she's still a pretty good mage. One of the better mages compared to the options out there. Uh, it's only a first copy for me, so unless uh, you will see a prism, um, it's not going to do much. But it's an option. And her TMR is decent for dragons. I think it's like 50 magic and 50 dragon killer for mages. You know, not bad. I would have rather see a Kuja. I have zero Kuja on global, and he's still pretty good in dark visions even after like Neo Visions become more common, just because his damage is just so high, and he's also a quad cast single target chainer, which is, you know, what you need. So Kuja would be nice. I'd even consider you will seeing Kuja's Prism if I happen to get one of him. But I'm at zero. The chance of getting him is pretty low. But if it happens, I'll have to think about it. But yeah, for Elena, um, I don't know. She doesn't really have any kind of utility like the old Elena had. You know, the old Elena had all kind of party buffs and stuff. This one doesn't. Um, her bulk seems really low. Her limit burst doesn't chain with the usual family, like Extreme Nova. It's a unique frame limit burst for some reason. I don't understand why they why they would do that instead of making her, you know, work with the other units. But whatever. Uh, but something I really love about Elena is her super trust mastery. If I get a copy of Elena, I might STMR Moogle that STMR Moogle her to get her super trust trust mastery. I haven't gotten any Lorans yet. Disappointing. How many rainbows we at? Six rainbows so far. Wow. That includes the, the the free stuff and the guaranteed pulls as well, so... Yeah, three of those rainbows were guaranteed. The one from the weekly, one from the, the 80k mog ticket, and then one from the guaranteed uh, rainbow ticket. Alright. I'd really rather see Elena out of a, out of a red crystal, but if I'm going to get an off-banner Neovisions, I kind of want another Cloud. I think I mentioned that in the past. Cloud or Axtar. I'd be happy with both. Not really looking for Aerith or um, or Rain. I mean, I'd use them if I got them, but uh, they're lower on the priority. Alright. A lot of tickets. Kind of wish we had a five at a time button or something for these tickets. But whatever. Can't have everything, I guess. So last week I got Yoshikiri really easily. Two of him, in fact. I got one on an EX ticket, and I got one on um, 
like five tickets later or something, five or ten tickets later. I got a second Yoshikiri. I was kind of hoping for the same luck here, and it's still early. It may happen, but um, it hasn't yet. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's just keep mixing up some gold tickets with uh, blue tickets. Come on, guys. Give me that 10% rainbow rate. We've got Dark Visions out today. Uh, for those of you looking for my Dark Visions videos, uh, it might be slower than usual. You know, most of the time I'll put up a Dark Visions video, like, within a few hours of the server coming up. Uh, because I knew I was going to be pulling a lot today, I wasn't sure what new units or gear I'd be obtaining today, and those might have influenced the Dark Visions team I build, so I didn't build them in advance. So once the summoning finishes, I've then got to go and build all my Dark Vision teams to actually do Dark Vision. So the video for that might not be out right away. But it's currently only the first few areas for Dark Visions, and those are always super, super easy anyway. So I doubt anyone's really like on the edge of their seat looking for an Area 1 Dark Visions fight. <laughs> Alright, so getting that bad luck now. Haven't seen a rainbow in a while. Haven't seen any Neo Visions. And I might do some Lapis um, pulls. I don't know. Supposedly it's a 4500 banner and the, the fourth pull is free. So, uh, what was that? 13,500 for, for get, to get 44 units. Seems okay. I'd kind of prefer to use tickets now though and save my Lapis for when the guarantees actually come, assuming they're ever going to come. You know, we don't know if they will or not, but I think I think they will, eventually. At that point, using um, using your Lapis to pull seems a lot a lot more valuable when you get that, that safety net. Alright. Give me rainbows. Or Neo Visions. <laughs> Give me the Lauren. That, that, that's the, the big one I want. Of, of the rainbows. Lauren's Neo Vision is really nice. It's a, it's a Stardust Ray Chainer. Technically, she also has um, onion, slice, onion Slice frames, but. No one else does, so who cares? <laughs> but she also breaks um, by up to 85%. So it's pretty good. So you can do that while chaining as well. And she's got 130% in perils for wind, lightning. I think she has holy as well on the Magnus, maybe, or a cooldown. One of them. Yeah, she can't maintain the holy, the good holy, in, the holy in peril. But, uh,. She does have it on either a cooldown or a Magnus. I forget which one. So she's really good for Dark Visions. She has Perfect Dispel as well. It's like an upgrade to Vaughn, kind of, for Dark Visions. And her damage is really, really high. I think she outdamages last well. Which makes me sad. I like last well a lot. I used him on one trial. <laughs> Or two trials, I don't know. What happened to my rainbows? Let me go ahead and redo this. Maybe a little refresh or something. I don't know. Probably not. It's all in your head. Yep, didn't work. <laughs> If only these four-star or three-star TMRs were useful anymore. But they're not. Well, it's not that they're not useful. It's just that I've already ha I already have them. So, getting my thirty-second copy of Ravis is not really exciting anymore. Even though he has a really good TMR. 
like Nisha, she has a nice evasion TMR. It gives evasion and some status immunity. But I don't need it anymore. I don't even know what all masses TMR does. Hmm. Hey, I spent something like 20 or 30 tickets since the Rambo? Feels bad. And before I started pulling, I saw some people um, in like Discord and stuff talking about how they got Elena in one pull. So it always, so it always seems to be. Everyone else gets it easy. <laughs> But I'm hoping to get at least one before I stop. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, like I said, she doesn't seem to be an extreme power creep or anything. Like, she's nice. I want her. But if I don't get her, I'm not really going to lose much sleep over it. But I will lose 200 tickets over it. Man. I guess the luck dried up last week. <laughs> And it was on Yoshikiri, who I'm still a little disappointed in Yoshikiri. I got him really easily, so I don't really feel that bad about it, because it's like, you know, whatever. But I was hoping for much more out of Yoshikiri, and his kit is a little lacking. It'll be good in Dark Visions. Like, it'll definitely have use in Dark Visions, but... That's probably... The primary place that Yoshikiri will have will have a uh, benefit is in Dark Visions, not so much elsewhere. Well, I had high hopes this morning. I was gonna be like, I'm gonna pull four Lauren and two Elena before I stop. Those plans might be changing. <laughs> I've got no Lauren yet. In fact, I think I've only gotten one rainbow out of out of normal tickets. I don't really count the 30% tickets because those have a really high chance of rainbow. I think only that Dark Fina came from a regular ticket. Yeah, Lastwell came from the weekly. So did Folka. Red came from the, the Mog ticket. I think Pain came from the Guaranteed Ticket. And then Sweet Luca, I think, came from the 30% Ticket. And then Armbo Dark Fina came from a regular Ticket. Hmm. But yeah, the only unit between now and when um, the safety nets are, like, quote-unquote, supposed to be in the game is Saul that I, that I care about. And Saul, I really only want for his vision card. That's why I'm kind of willing to use these tickets. And not worry about all these tickets anymore. After that, I just won't pull anymore. Unless they have a safety net. Probably. And I'll save Lapis for that. But if I got Elena's card, then Saul's card might be worth skipping for me. It's still better for mages than Elena's card. But, uh... I think Elena's card would probably be good enough. To where I don't need to chase another Neo Visions with these rates. Because what happened to the rates? All the rainbows. They're gone. <laughs> the game saw that I've been getting too many rainbows recently. I had to turn on the brakes. Speaking of a lot of rainbows, by the way, that, um... What was it? The uh, the premium 10 plus 1 ticket we got from day day 21 of the, the monthly login rewards. That gave me my fourth copy of Ashura Axtar's... Uh, Ashura Axtar, so that gave me his STMR, that two-handed katana. And it gave me a fourth copy of Vaughn. So I got his STMR from the same poll. It was... 
kind of awesome. It's really awesome, in fact. But now I'm paying for it. <laughs> no more rainbows. I got them all, I guess. And the most fun part of this is going to be the cleanup afterwards. All the fusing. Come on, game. Mix it up a little bit. Maybe I should go do some, uh, some Lapis pulls. I don't know. I'd have to do 13.5k to get the, the value. Hmm. But this isn't this isn't working yet. Oh, here it is. Well, Lauren, come on, please, Lauren, Lauren. Heavenly technician lit. No, not like this. That is, um, like number seven or eight. That might even be a second STMR that I'm not gonna make. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Her STMR is pretty, pretty decent. It's, um, it's a nice hammer, uh, with a lot of hit points on it, and it has Machine Killer on it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably best in slot for Tifa against machines. I do know when I've used Tifa against, um, the machine Dark Visions or whatever. Uh, the builder equips that to her, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's best in slot for Tifa. But I've already got it, so you know, who cares? <laughs> At least it was a rainbow. At least it was a rainbow. You know, it mixed it up a little bit. It was feeling really bad, no rainbows in a long time. Of course, it was a worthless rainbow, but it was a rainbow. Alright game, now it's time for Neo Visions. Give me that red crystal. And then make it Elena. So if I got Elena at this point, would I should I keep going for Lauren? Or just give up on Lauren? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. I kinda wanted two copies of Elena, like I said, because I wanted um I want two copies of Elena because I'd like to STMR Mogul the second Elena and then turn her into fragments and then that way I can later get a second copy of the STMR from the original Elena when she hits EX2, assuming we ever get the, the daily dungeon. I can just slow farm the fragments that way. But if you use an STMR Mogul on your only copy of the, uh, the Neo Visions, and then you farm their fragments in the dungeon and eventually get their EX2 without having ever pulled another dupe. That STMR mogul you get from EX2 is uh, it's pretty worthless because you can't use it. Until you eventually someday pull another copy of the unit. Which, I mean, you know, statistically will happen someday. But the best way to do it is to uh, STMR mogul a second copy before converting them. Of course, that requires two copies, though. So, good luck with that. <laughs> I considered doing that for um, Yoshikiri last week when I pulled two of him. I thought about it, like, do I want to STMR Mogul the first one, or the second one, before I convert him for shards? But then I was like, nah, because STMR, um, not worth it. It just wasn't really impressive enough to me. 25% double hand, give me a break. What a joke. <laughs> That's another reason I was really disappointed in Yoshikiri, is his STMR was a big letdown. Really big letdown. I expected more. Come on, game. Oh, Zade, I think I have his trust moguls from the raid still. I remember that. that was, I needed to pull more Zade to use those trust moguls just to use them. How long have I been pulling for? Let's see, 25 minutes. Oof. Wow, this will be a long video. Slow upload. But we're still trying.
If I go all the tickets, the question is, do I then go to Lapis or do I just walk away and accept my loss? Don't know yet. We'll see when we get there. <laughs> Let's use three more green tickets, or gold tickets, and then we'll do a bunch of, uh, Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is there a red hiding inside there? Nope. Oh, <laughs> sweet Luke again, really? Well, that's number three. Um, another copy of her TMR. I mean, at this point, I don't really need more of her TMR, but okay. I think I think two, two of them is the sweet spot, you know, for sweet Luca. Get it? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think... I'd really use three copies of her TMR in a, in, a, in a team. I mean, maybe. And it's free because I got, uh, I saved her Raid Moogles. I don't know what her STMR is. I don't know if it's good or not. So, should I be excited about a third copy of Sweet Luca? Or not? I don't know. Alright, so that's the green tickets. Uh, let me look up real quick. Sweet Luca's STMR, out of curiosity. Sweet Luca STMR is uh, a materia, 40% hit points in spirit, 60% to water, wind, and light resist. Okay, that's, that's decent. Yeah, that's nice. Really high resist. Pretty good. Kind of specialized, I guess, because barrels barrels TMR is almost the same. It's only ten percent less uh, spirit, so it's only good if the resistances matter. But it's good when they do matter; it'd be great. <sighs> da, da, da. You know who I'd like to see is Zeno. If I'm gonna get an off-banner rainbow, a fourth copy of Zeno, I'm at three of him. I'd like his his STMR. It'd be good for Elena probably, for dual wielding. It has no magic on it, but uh, really high attack, really high percent attack, which leaves space open for um more killers and stuff. Come on, upgrade all the way to red. This is getting irritating. Nope. <laughs> Isaru, blah. Yeah, one, one other um, disappointing thing about Elena, you know, just to add to the list, is she doesn't have any killers. I think she's like the only NeoVisions DPS without any natural killers. She does have killer buffs. Don't, don't get me wrong. She does have buffs for killers. But she doesn't have any natural killers as a passive, which makes gearing her, you know, a little trickier. I really expected um, some natural human killer or demon killer based on the way they, they talked about her. But nope, she has none. Just the buff. It's a nice buff and all, it's a 200% buff. But uh, it only lasts for one turn and it's on a cooldown, so again, really just for dark visions. <laughs> Not that great in Trials, because it only lasts for one turn. And then she has like a smaller buff. Come on, you stupid game. Give me the red. Even an off-banner red would be... No, I'd, I'd, I'd rather be on banner. <laughs> If I did get a red and it was off banner, I'd be a little bit annoyed. Just a little bit. Depending on what it is. Oof. Oh, Ultima! Give me a freaking break. That might even be a second copy of her STMR, which is not even good. I don't think I've ever used her STMR. 
I've got an enchanted and item world and everything, and it's just blah. It's like a 165 magic dagger or something. Let me let me look. Ultima. Oh, that's number that's number um number six for me. I guess it's not as many as I thought. Still number six. So dumb. Hi, Seraph Ultima. Blah. Why is she even in the pool still? She's so old and so bad. Alright, let's keep going. We got a rainbow, so... That's something. I guess after the next eight tickets, I'm gonna go, go ahead and use ten green tickets to mix it up a little bit. Oh, here we go. That's what I like to see. Rainbows back-to-back. -back, kind of. Alright, uh, did not upgrade. Oh, Xeno! Yeah! Xeno of the Beta Star. There's the STMR I requested five minutes ago. Okay. That puts me in a better mood. That is that is very nice. That is one of the one of the high priority rainbows on my list that I really wanted was him. I'm not sure who else I really want, because like I said, I got Ashura Axtar number four a few days ago. I got uh Vaughn number four a few days ago. Now I got uh Xeno, so of the units, I was at three copies of a good STMR. That might have been one of the last ones. There, there's some others still, but uh, yeah, that was one of the one of the last ones that I needed one more copy for a great STMR. Pretty good. I guess at this point, the biggest desire ST, the biggest desired rainbow would be Kuja for Dark Visions, assuming I can get Elena. If I get Elena, then I've got a lot of good units for Dark Visions this month. So I guess I'll try I'll try hard or whatever. And then I'd probably consider UOC a Prism for Kuja. So I can rank okay-ish in the Mage stages. But if I don't get Elena, then I'm probably not going to have any shot at the top ranks. So uh, I won't bother that much then. Either go all the way or don't go at all. I've gotten Tomo so many times with her bad TMR. <laughs> it's like a low attack power, two handed gun. It's so goofy. Aw, oh, really? Blue? Come on. Tessin. Blah. I'm not loving this, this uh, Neo Vision rate, though. I think I was at 280 tickets at the start, so let me see how many tickets I have remaining. We can see how deep we've gone. Um, I'm at 190. So we're about to we're about to reach the 100 tickets used with no Neo Visions. So statistically, we're we're gonna be in the red soon. Of course, it's all, you know, RNG. You can get a Neo Visions in one ticket, or you can get none in 300 tickets. Hopefully, we don't. that doesn't happen. Oh, where's a rainbow again? I'm still waiting for that first copy of freaking Lauren. Agent Olive. Ugh! No! I've already got your STMR. I don't want a second STMR of you. I would never use a second STMR. Probably not. Maybe, I guess, but probably not. <laughs> oh, back-to-back -back rainbows. Is this the actual Neo Visions? Can it be Neo Visions? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, second copy of Zyrus. Okay. Operative... Uh, that's his 7-star, which is effectively worthless today, but that is his 7-star. I guess. Yay. <laughs> yeah, the problem with Zyrus is he's all AoE, so you can't use him in Dark Visions, and you would obviously never use him in Trials. Yeah, quad casting AoE unit is, is a big no-no in Dark Visions. It's, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Would have been nice if Gumi had fixed that bug. And I guess because we just had a client patch, there's a possibility it's fixed already and we just haven't found out yet. 
but I'm doubting it. I think they would have announced it if they did, and I didn't say any announcements for them fixing the AoE bug. So therefore, AoE mages are dead in the water for Dark Visions. They just don't work. Alright, game. We doing it again? Upgrade again? Nope. Okay. Okay. What is Zyrus's STMR? I think it's a one-handed rod with Dragon Killer on it. Here's another rainbow. It's nice. Oh, Folka. Come on. Folka! Working towards the second copy of your STMR. That might even be it. I forgot how many that was. I, I looked it up earlier. I'm not looking it up again. I actually accidentally closed my spreadsheet for my unit, my unit list. I'd have to open it and all. Whatever. Uh, nope. Come on. I was hoping to save some tickets for Saul. Some leftover tickets for Saul. Yeah, that was my plan to um, pull for Elena. The plan was to get her, which is not working out so far. And then use any remaining tickets on Saul. Like I mentioned, um, I don't care about Firion. I don't care about... Uh... Honestly, I would like Gabranth if we got him on Global. I'm just not going to pull for him. Gabranth would be like a, a happy off banner. But he, he wouldn't be a, someone I'd pull for. Just because, you know, LOL physical tanks. <laughs> Alright, that's not working. I'm still mind blown here that I'm at zero Lauren. And I'm at 179. Yeah, we've, we've gone over 100 tickets. No Lauren, no, um, no Elena. Crazy town. So my dreams of double Elena and four copies of Lauren for the EX plus one, that seems to be a big joke at this point. Nope. Man, I really want Lauren too. I think I want Lauren probably more than Elena. I can UOC for Lauren, so it's not that big a deal if I don't get her. Like if I really, really want her, I can just UOC her. She's in the she's in the UOC pool, so it's fine. But I figured after a hundred something tickets, like I'd just have multiple Laurens. Let's go ahead and refresh this again, just for my own paranoia. <laughs> because the rainbows aren't happening, or the rainbows are kind of happening. I guess we're getting a rainbow somewhat oftenish. It's just they're not the right rainbows. They're all off manner. <sighs> da, 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 da. How long we've been at it now? 38 minutes. This is going to be an hour long poll video, isn't it? It's looking that way. Oh, well. Here's Rainbow. It gives me hope. It gives me hope that it upgrades, but it didn't. Hey, Lauren number four. Okay, so worst case scenario, that's number four. We get 20 login shards. I'd only need five more shards to um, Neovisions her, which someday I'd get from the, uh, um, the daily dungeon if or when Global ever gets that. So that's good. That's good. So at, le at least this won't be like a super disaster if nothing happens by the end of the tickets. Okay, okay, you've done it twice. One more time, one more time. Come on, one more time. Holy, here we go. Whew, okay, okay. Elena, Elena, please. God, oh shit, that was right in front of the microphone. I, if I just blew your eardrums out, I'm sorry for clapping right in front of my microphone. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. I hope that wasn't overly loud. 
over the microphone. Uh, maybe maybe I'll go back and edit it if it is. Uh, anyway, 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 there it is. Starlight Elena. Starlight Elena. Okay, okay. Oh, in the card, in the card. What card do I even want anymore? The only card I've never pulled on Global is um, the Earth Crystal. So just just for the just for the sake of completion, give me the Earth Crystal, the Earth Crystal card. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, Luca. I don't mind, Luca. Sure, I love Luca. Not really. This is this right here is the big drive for me pulling. I really want this STMR. It's 150 double hand for physical. Which is worse than Clouds, let's be fair. Um, clouds is better for physical. But it's 150 double hand for magic. That is the best, even including JP. That is the highest source of double hand magic. And for hybrid units, just Elena at this point, um, it's 300%, which is, you know, mind blowing. Really good. I really like this STMR. They did great on that STMR for her. Um,. Her TMR is kind of like whatever. Uh, it's 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 good if you don't have if you don't have if you don't have dual wield STMRs. This is really good. I personally have Blue Gilgamesh's STMR. I've got Malphazy's STMR. I've got um. That's actually it. Yeah, for for hybrid STMRs, that's it. I've got I've got a bunch for physical and a bunch for magic. I've got like selfies and all that, but those. For hybrid, I've got those two. That's all that matters. Um, but you can use, uh, what's it called? You can use the old Elena's gear to activate her trust passives. Um, yeah, whatever. Just trust me, you can. So I'll probably use um, the old Elena's STMR instead of her sword. Because her sword's a little bit low on attack power and magic. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, now I'm in a good mood. So now we keep going. I still want that second Lauren. So I guess we're going to keep going until I get another Elena or another Lauren. I guess I'd stop whenever I get one, e either one. Yeah, I'm I'm pleased at this point. At this point, if I go completely dry on tickets, I don't really care anymore. Whatever. I've got Elena. Um, I'm going to get her card. Like, worst case scenario, if I don't get a second copy of her, I'll buy her bundle in the shop for 5k. So I've got a guaranteed... EX1 Elena, I get her card. I think her card is good enough, so I probably won't pull for Saul unless they global exclusive buff his card or something, which is very unlikely. It's probably not going to happen. So yeah, I think, I think, I think Saul at this point is probably a skip. Or if I if I stop early and have tickets left over, I might use um, the re the remainder of the tickets on Saul. It does feel really bad to be out of tickets, I gotta be honest here. On the JP server, I dumped all my tickets all the way down to zero on the Kingdom Hearts banner in JP. And because JP just doesn't give out tickets anymore, pretty much, um, I just ha ha I have not really like replenished that stock. And I, just don't, I just don't have tickets anymore on the JP server. Which is why I haven't, I, I haven't been pulling on the JP server, because I don't have any tickets. I've got Lapis on JP, i got a lot of Lapis on JP. Uh, but for that, I'm waiting for, like, a bigger thing. A bigger banner. The Japanese anniversary is coming soon. I'm not sure why I'm talking about the Japanese server on a global video, but, yeah, whatever. Anyway, the point is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out of tickets on JP, and it feels really bad. So, it's gonna feel really bad to be out of tickets on global as well, but, Whatever. I really honestly should stop right here and you will see another Lauren. Maybe I'll save like I really wanted a second copy of Elena though for that STMR. I wanted to STMR Mogul a second copy before sharding it. Oof. How deep do I want to go? I don't know. Maybe I'll go until like a few more rainbows and then stop. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the nice thing is Global doesn't seem to be following in JP's tracks where they just stop giving you tickets. We've still been getting a decent amount of tickets on Global, so maybe it, maybe it is okay to use them all because on Global, 
they should replenish over time. I think. I hope. I haven't really been paying a ton of attention. If we're getting tickets on our global, I think we are. People in the comments may correct me and be like, we actually have not been getting that many tickets on global. I don't know, I haven't really been paying attention. I haven't done like a big poll session in a long time. Cause I've, I've been, I've been to be really fair, I've been really lucky. Like the last three banners I pulled on was the Zeneda banner, where I, no no the, the Vaughn banner, Secret Freedom Vaughn. Uh, I pulled on his banner and I got either one or two copies of him and like right away almost. And then I used a few tickets on Zeneda and I got two of her like right away and then I pulled on um, Yoshikiri and got two of him really easily so I just, haven't, I just haven't really had like a big pull video in a long time until now how deep do I want to go I don't know see this, this, the smart play is to walk away right here I, it, it really is it really is I should walk away drop the 5k on the bundle EX1 Elena and not get greedy. If we get Lauren right here though, we should probably stop. Oh, Agent Olive. Oh, that's tempting to make me walk away now. <sighs> it's not as bad as Myra though. We're still gonna we're still gonna go for a little bit. A little bit longer. How long has this video been? We were at 46 minutes. Maybe I should make it an hour-long poll video. My Kuja video in JP was like an hour and an hour and a half of polling for Kuja with tickets. So, uh, yeah, not as bad as the Kuja the Kuja poll was. The Kuja the Kuja polls were. I cannot talk. I really can't. Man, that Asian Olive is is annoying. I mean, I got Elena, so no matter what happens, I'm coming out ahead. I'm at 157 tickets. I was at 280 to start. I guess I'm going to go 200 tickets deep, so I'm going to save like 80-ish tickets or something. And I'll dump them on the Saul banner and hope for Saul's vision card. Just so I have a mid... I mean, Saul as a unit is fine, too. Don't get me wrong. He's... He's a... He's... He's a maze that's good when he comes out and gets power creeped really quickly. That's Saul's problem. Uh, what, what's your name? Faisalus? Basically does what Saul does, just way, way better. <laughs> and she comes out like a month and a half after him, which is, I guess, a decent amount of time after Saul. But uh, still, it's not that long, really. Especially at these rates. I mean, 1% rate. We've only seen one Neovisions, but it was the one we wanted, so we're okay. We're okay. I still want that Lauren, though. Man, that second Lauren would give me EX0. I'm definitely not chasing four copies of Lauren. Like, the EX1 Lauren dream is, is gone. We're not getting EX1 Lauren. But EX0 Lauren, I'm still one away. I'm at four copies of Lauren. I need one more, and then we can get uh, EX0 Lauren. You know, isn't there a bundle in the shop for Lauren shards? How many do you get from that? Maybe that'd be worth to uh, EX1 Lauren. I don't know. Well, here's uh, that 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 tripped me out for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute, Elena from a. It's the old Elena. It's the old Elena. Okay, fake out. Fake out! Wow! Ah, yeah, I've already got her STMR, so whatever. That's number seven, Elena. I'm almost certain it's number seven, Elena. Almost certain. I guess I can look. Let me look. Let me op open my sheet real quick. Uh, Elena. Oh, that was number six. I had five, that was number six, okay. Oh, Rainbow, where'd you come from? Oh, it must have upgraded what I was, I was open, open, opening in my spreadsheet. Okay. I like that. Tab back into a, a, a Rainbow. Oh, no. No. Not like this. Tab back out. Go away. Go away, pain. Did I really pull two pains today? 
She is so bad. Her STMR is so bad. Her TMR is so bad. She is a unit with zero redeeming qualities. Pain as a unit from her source game is so bad. I don't like pain. Why'd you give me pain game? That hurts. That really hurts. A second copy of pain today. Really? <laughs> All right, I, I, I think I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to 50 green remainings and 50 blue tickets remaining, and then stop. So that, that'll give me 100 tickets for Saul to hopefully get his card. Statistically, a 1% banner, a 1% banner rate, 100 tickets. That that should give me Saul based on the odds. It probably won't, but statistically, that gives me a good chance of Saul and his vision card. And like I mentioned, um, the other banners between now and then are Furion. Um, I'm not pulling for Furion. He's not good enough for me. Uh, if he gets upgrades, maybe, but he probably won't. Um, the other one is Gabranth. And like I mentioned, um, I really like Gabranth. I'd like to have him. He's good at what he does. Uh, unfortunately, what he does is physical tanking. So, LOL. Yeah, so I'm not pulling for Gabranth. Uh, and the other banner is... There was one more, wasn't there, between, before the, the step-ups? Oh, uh, Madame Edel, I think. I think Madame Edel is next. And I don't care about Madame Edel. You know, whatever. She's got a good vision card. She's got a good STMR for Tifa. But I'm not pulling for Madame Edel. Especially not for her STMR, which is going to be way too expensive. So, yeah. And then after that should be uh, Phazy or Summer Fina and Daisy the Tank. Based on the JP schedule, of course, they were a summer unit in JP. Uh, by the time Global gets it, it'll be a winter unit. So maybe we won't get them. But that was the start of the safety net where you sp on the JP, JP server, where you spend 40,000 Lapis and you get the unit guaranteed after 40k spent. And at that point, I'll feel a lot more free in pulling for units. Cause it just feels so bad to dump Lapis and then just not get what you want. Like you could spend months of savings and walk away with nothing, with no safety net. And I don't like that at all. Oh, it makes me nervous. Okay, here we go. Lauren, make this. Uh, okay, okay. Second copy of Rain, Infernal Fire Rain. I really like his STMR. I really like his STMR, so second copy of him, I'm happy about it. I'm really happy about that. Also, his second copy gives me access to his um, his plant killer buff for um, Dark Visions. I think. Isn't he plant killer? I think he's plant killer and beast killer. He, he, I mean, he, he, he's, he's, uh, he's on Ifrit, so he should be. Yeah, I think he has a really high plant killer buff. So I can steal that with Zahn for uh, plant stages, which aren't very common. But they exist every now and then. All right, so that is my 18th rainbows today. Some 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 of them were guaranteed, but I've pulled 18 rainbows and one neo visions, which is pretty good. I mean, it really is. That's pretty good. I'd like to see more neo visions. By the time by the, by the time I get to 200 tickets spent, not getting a second neo visions would feel a little bad, but you know. I got Elena. I got her. I got her. We're happy. And like I mentioned, I need to um, build Dark Visions teams and all that. I guess we'll use five more of these and we'll use a few more of the, the blue tickets. The on-banner rate for Lauren seems really poor. Either really poor, or I'm just getting really bad luck. But, I mean, something like 15 rainbows off-banner and one Lauren seems bonkers. It really does. Idea. Uh-oh, the cleanup on this is going to be <laughs> the worst. 
I hate fusing units. Fusing units for TMRs it just takes forever. It's so slow, so tedious. All right, give me that Lauren. Oh, Cersei, I've got a lot of you. I've got. I, I. I don't know. I guess I can look. Cersei, that is number nine. Number nine. And apparently we're not getting global exclusive Neovision unit upgrades. So, number nine Cersei does nothing. Yeah, Gumi. What's up with that? Anyway, the, um, the Neovision awakenings for old units. Like, what happened? I was so sure... And like so expecting Morgana to get a Neo Visions Awakening on this banner because I mean Elena banner Morgana, hello. But it didn't happen. Didn't happen. I had enough Morganas for it too. I have I have uh, I have six Morgana. I was really looking forward to that. Didn't happen. And all the rest of the units too. Like, you know, Kaito, I'm really looking forward to his Neo Visions Awakening because I really like Kaito. I think he's a cool unit, cool sprite, a cool idea that doesn't work. But upgrading him to Neovisions gives you the opportunity to fix him and make him, you know, actually useful. Ah, but didn't happen. I don't know. Big sad face. So looking at my list, did I even get any STMRs that I care about today? Oh, Xeno! I got Xeno's STMR, yeah. So, I mean, we got a really high, a really high quality STMR. In Xeno. Sweet Luca. Sweet Luca's 7 star. I'm happy about that. Infernal Fire Rain. That's progress towards one. Fourth copy of Lauren. The rest of the rainbows. Thumbs down. <laughs> oh, Shiva Laswell. Uh, third copy of... Oh, here we go. Third copy of Shiva Laswell is nice because it gives me... Uh, progress where it's his nice STMR. Oh! Hey! Number th number three! I'm happy! Am I gonna get a fourth copy? From, I mean, I I I'd be all for it. Yeah, give me that STMR. It's a great STMR. Beast Killer. Um, really high attack power. Beast Killer is a very rare race. And it's one of the highest attack chests in the game. Oh, okay. Double Rainbow. I like it. I like it. Oh, no, I don't. I don't like it. Lid. No. All right, let me look it up. Lid. How many is that? There's too many lids. That's my second... So that was number seven and eight. This is number eight lid. Yeah, second STMR. Not going to make it, though. She will be... On the bench for eternity, waiting for a new vision that she probably will never get. Okay. Let's keep going. I want another Lauren or another Elena. Starlight Elena. I don't want more regular Elenas. Please no. <laughs> I did mention. Yeah, I did. I did mention that um, the old Elena's STMR works for the new Elena. It activates her trust passive. Yeah, I mentioned that. So for those of you that don't have the old Elena STMR, uh, pulling a pulling her is really good. I really want Starlight Elena's STMR. I'm gonna wind up having to STMR Mogul my uh, my first copy of Starlight Elena. I don't want to. I really don't. It's such a waste. Because then if I ever get her EX2 from um, the Daily Dungeon, I can't use the Moogle. It feels real bad. Unless I off banner more later. Hmm. But we're approaching the end of my self-imposed limit. Something like 20 more tickets. You know, I was honestly really, really hoping for uh, an Axe Star, too. An off banner Axe Star. It might still happen. Uh, Neo Vision's Axe Star. Let me specify. I don't want Troll Axe Star. 
Huh. Okay. Long video. This is going to be a slow upload, a slow processing for YouTube to get it ready for viewing. And I should have stopped 80 tickets ago, but for some reason, I thought Lauren would be on freaking banner. <laughs> Ah, oh, here it is, here it is. Come on, game. Lauren number five, please. Oh, cloud. Blah. You were out of the pool, and then you're back in it again because of your new business upgrade. Out of curiosity, how many is that? I think that's number five, which is not, like, terrible or anything. Oh, that's right, because... No, that's... I have his EX plus one, so that's got to be cloud number eight or above. Yeah, like I mentioned, my little spreadsheet where I keep track, I I just have like a line through um, the NeoVision units because I don't I don't keep them anymore. I convert them to shards, so I don't know how many clouds that that is. That is, it's probably um, cloud number eight. Whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Alright. 13 more of these tickets, then 5 more of the green tickets. And then I think I should really stop and save for Saul. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I keep going. Because pulling for Saul seems like another risky one because the Saul banner was um it was Saul it was Neovision's Awakening Dark Fina the original Dark Fina from way way back the second rainbow ever I believe no Luneth was the second so she was the third I guess I think I don't know but a really old rainbow Dark Fina uh, and then Blossom Sage Sakura all, all of those get upgrades for the Saul banner on the Japanese server. We don't know for the global because, um, for example, Eileen got an upgrade on the Axtar banner. That didn't happen on global. Eileen is missing in action. Wasn't there one more unit that we're missing that should have been here by now? Uh, it was Eileen. I think there was one more that we're currently missing. Just Eileen and some. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Again, again, again! Come on, you can do it! You can do Oh, here we go. Let's just click it. Let's just rip off the band-aid. Come on. There it is. I will be STMR moogling her and then converting her to shards. So I can get a second STMR at some point someday. Also also saves me 5k. Also saves me 5k. I still didn't get a still didn't get a Lauren. Still have not gotten a Lauren. A second Lauren, that is. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Earth Crystal, please. Earth Crystal, please. Ah, oh, the airship. Okay. You know what I'm probably going to do? I'm probably, instead of keeping this card, I'm probably going to fuse this card into my other airship card. Because when you fuse the duplicate card, you get a lot of experience. Because I'm probably never going to use Cactuars on these generic cards. But fusing duplicates seems fine. Because it's you get 500 experience. That would bring it to level 4. Maybe. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Alright. At this point, let me look at those bundles. At those bundles. Um, let's see. Uh, Lauren. So, 3,000. 3,000 lapis for 50. Okay, so you get two copies. The equivalent of two copies. That would still leave me one shorter for EX plus one. Oof. And how about the Elena bundle? 50? Bleh. For 5k. Well, I'm going to keep going. Because I did set a limit. And we're not there yet. We're not there yet. No, we still, we've still got 9 and 5 to go. We've still got 14 tickets to go. Do I hit that limit that I set? Uh, and I still don't have that Lauren. Give me another Lauren. 
at this point, if I get one more copy of Lauren, like, we're walking away immediately. I I'm definitely not, um... Going past that for us for another Lauren. All right, I'm really pleased about Double Elena. That gets me. Um, technically, she's a bonus unit for this current um, wave battle Mog event somewhat thing. I'm, I'm not even sure what it is. It's like a, I think it's a wave battle. I think it's. I didn't even look if it uses orbs or energy. Let me look. I interrupt your regularly scheduled pull session to check what kind of event this is. All right, there, there, there's no orb counter, so it's got to be a, a an, an energy event. So, yeah, the problem is if you convert Elena into shards, you can't use her as a bonus unit anymore. <laughs> but I may do it anyway and just just farm harder with more energy. I've got a lot of energy pods because I, I don't want to wait a week to use Elena. I want to use her EX1 right now. So I'll probably just convert her and just deal with having less um, less bonus for the event. Like, whatever. I'll spend more energy farming it. But isn't usually these events, the only thing you even farm for is currency to, like, do raid summons. And you get, like, cactuars and gill turtles that I don't even care about. So farming more currency is kind of a whatever for me. Yeah, I'm definitely going to convert that convert that Elena. Cuz we got dark visions and uh I I I need her for dark visions. Oh, here it is. Here's the Lauren I'm looking for, isn't it? Come on. Lauren, 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 Golbez. Ah, isn't he? Uh, hold on, hold on. I know I have his seven star. How many of that is? Oh, how many is that? Is that his STMR? Uh, it's a third copy. I was about to say because his STMR is great for um for Elena. If it was it, but it isn't. But third copy, it will be someday. Third copy of Golbez, yeah. His STMR is a 100 magic chest piece. The downside is it's heavy armor, which means almost every mage in the game cannot wear it. But Elena can. And for um, the mage stages on Dark Visions, Elena um, would really like to use that. Yeah, because for Dark Visions, because she's a hybrid... Uh, you only gear for one stat. You, you, you don't you don't gear like quote unquote hybrid gear for dark visions. You gear all for one stat. If you're doing the physical stages, you focus only on her attack power. If you're doing the magic stages, you focus only on her magic power. Because of the the, the split in um, defense and spirit. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Lauren, please. Can I get a freaking on banner, Lauren Kurosame? Are you kidding me? I think that's number four. Sure, it is number four. There's an STMR. Um, it's a good hybrid, a good hybrid sword, one-hander. It's really good. Uh, if we ever do ice, so if like Elena ever comes to an ice stage, Kurosami STMR, you know, I'll definitely be using it on her. So it's an okay STMR. That's okay. Not the best, not the worst. I think it is the highest. Attack power ice weapon, though. I think. Alright. Five more gold tickets, and then do I save for. Um. Whatever. Saul. I guess I will. Yeah. Yeah, I already got two Elena, so at this point, going deeper for Elena seems a little crazy. I was just really hoping on that stupid Lauren. I mean, I really was. Yeah, I was thinking if I get another copy of Lauren, then I could buy that bundle and. EX won her. You know what I might do? I might UOC a Lauren Prism. 
and then buy the bundle. That would give me her EX1. That would give me her EX1. Ooh, now I'm tempted. Do I save 100 tickets for Saul? Or do I keep going? No, we're going to stop here. I think. Oh, I was hoping for an upgrade on the last one, but it didn't happen. Okay, I think we're going to stop here. Um, I'll think about Lauren. What I'm going to do with her. By UOC. I've got a lot of UOCs. I'm, I should do it. I've got a lot of UOCs. I should grab her Prism. And the bundle. 3k for EX1 Lauren. Maybe. Possibly. Alright. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. We're going to stop here. I'm, I'm going to consider. I'm, I'm going to think for a little bit. But we're stopping. You know what I'm going to do? Let me look. I'm just going to confirm real quick that I've got four Lorens. If i got four Lorens, I'm going to go ahead and buy the UOC. Awesome Swordsman is her TMR name. Awesome Swordsman. Yep, four copies. No STMR. No STMR. Four copies. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy her Prism with UOC. And then EX1 her. Or I'm sorry, EX zero her, and I just I just won't have her EX one, and I can I can wait a week and maybe buy the bundle at the end of the week if I decide to. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Standard summon, select summon. We're going to buy that prism. Let's see, prisms, unit prism. Um, it's stored by. We'll just leave it this sword and it's fine. I, I, I usually sort stuff by TMR name, not unit name. That's just the way I do it. I'm weird. But we'll just sort it by Lauren. Lauren. Is there a prism? Not, oh, here it is. Lauren's prism. Uh, EX0 Lauren. Okay. All right. There it is. There's, there's the pull video. Hope it's been enjoyable. I know it's been very long. It has been an hour and 12 minutes. Whew. Not quite as long as the Kuja video, though. Okay. I will see you guys next time.